Good day, everyone. Today, we embark on a journey into the microscopic world of cells, the fundamental building blocks of life. Let's take a quick look at what we'll cover today. Introduction to cells. Types of cells, components. Structure and basic functions. Protein synthesis. Energy supply. Cellular digestion. Support and movement. Storage and transportation. A cell is the basic and fundamental unit of life, possessing a highly organized structure that enables it to carry out vital functions necessary for an organism's survival. Cells can be broadly classified into two types, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Prokaryotic cells lack a defined nucleus, while eukaryotic cells have a nucleus enclosed within a membrane. Let's explore further. Cells are composed of various fundamental components, including the cell membrane, nucleus, ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, chloroplasts, in plant cells, lysosomes and peroxisomes, centrioles, and microtubules. These components work together harmoniously to maintain cellular homeostasis and perform essential life activities, ensuring the proper functioning of the cell. The cell membrane surrounds the cell, acting as a selective barrier between the interior and exterior environments. It regulates the passage of substances and plays a crucial role in cellular communication. The nucleus houses DNA and controls gene expression, DNA replication, and cellular activities. It contains the nucleus, involved in ribosome synthesis. The cytoplasm is a gel-like matrix containing various molecules and organelles. It supports biochemical reactions, provides structural support, and facilitates substance transport. Protein synthesis is essential for building and repairing cellular structures, regulating biological processes, and expressing specific characteristics of organisms. Ribosomes synthesize proteins using genetic information from messenger RNA, mRNA. They are crucial for cellular structure, function, and regulation. The endoplasmic reticulum is involved in protein and lipid synthesis, processing, and distribution. It includes the rough ER, with ribosomes, and smooth ER. The Golgi apparatus processes and packages proteins and lipids synthesized in the ER. It sorts and distributes these molecules within and outside the cell. Cells require energy to carry out vital functions. Mitochondria are responsible for energy generation through cellular respiration. Mitochondria produce ATP through cellular respiration, providing energy for cellular activities. They are found in eukaryotic animal and plant cells. Chloroplasts are exclusive to plant cells and perform photosynthesis, converting solar energy into chemical energy. They produce oxygen essential for life. Lysosomes and peroxisomes are involved in cellular digestion, breaking down molecules and unwanted materials, recycling nutrients, and defending against pathogens. Lysosomes contain digestive enzymes for waste disposal, while peroxisomes degrade harmful compounds and protect the cell from oxidative damage. The cytoskeleton provides support and enables movement in eukaryotic cells. Flagella and cilia are specialized structures for cellular locomotion. The cytoskeleton is composed of protein filaments and regulates cell shape, movement, and division. Flagella and cilia facilitate cellular motility in liquid environments. Flagella and cilia are specialized structures for cellular locomotion, enabling movement in various environments. They are essential for sperm motility. Vacuoles, vesicles, and endosomes manage nutrients, eliminate waste, and regulate metabolic processes, ensuring cellular homeostasis. Vacuoles store nutrients, water, and waste materials, regulate turgor pressure, and serve as a defense mechanism against predators. Vesicles and endosomes transport materials between organelles and the cell membrane, facilitating cellular processes and maintaining homeostasis. Thank you for joining us today. 
Do you have any questions or thoughts you'd like to share?